intro to Command Line 2. Watch Nick McD dot TV. Watch it religiously. So I want to do a shout out to Data Recovery 916, uh, Seed of Chucky 478, and Special K. They all requested to see a couple more introductions to Command Line. So I'm going to try to do a few more of these. So this is going to be intro to Command Line 2. I'm going to show you guys some more advanced stuff to do on the Command Line interface. So let's hop on into it. Now the first thing you want to do is open up a terminal. Go to Applications, Accessories, and Terminal. Now the first command I want to teach you guys is called grep. Grep is most ma basic form means search. I'm also going to teach you pipe. Now pipe is shift backslash on my keyboard. It's right above enter and it's a straight line. It's not an L, it's not a 1, it's just a straight line. So remember last time I taught you guys ls which means list. So if we do an ls you can see I have a bunch of files here. Which is kind of difficult because if I'm looking for a specific one, I have to actually physically look through all these files, which is a pain in the butt. So if we type in ls and then we pipe that through into grep. Now pretty much pipe um, puts the output of ls and puts into the input of grep. So if we do ls, pipe it into grep, and we look for, I don't know, if we do it uh, selena. Now you can see it didn't come back with anything. And that's because grep is case sensitive. So if we put a dash i in front of it, now I have two things. Because you can see the S in Selena is capitalized. That's why the very first search did not come back with anything. Okay, now this right here. Now that's not mine. That's um, my, my little sister's. And I got it for her. So just ignore that. Anyway, so ls, and we can, grep, we can pipe that through grep and do a search. Now a next, the next one I'm going to teach you guys is called PS. PS is your process list. Now let's run I have GNOME and if you put an AND sign after it, it pushes it to the background and allows you to get your terminal back. So the I have GNOME is running and you can see I still have my terminal and it told you that number, that number is the process ID of I have GNOME. So if we type in PS you will now see it. You see bash, EOG, I have GNOME, and then the PS, which is the command we just ran. So if, like, let's say something's going wrong with I have GNOME, I have it, like, froze, or I have no access to it because maybe, like, my mouse is, is dead, or, or I don't know, something. You want to kill it. Just type in kill, and then the process number, which is 2317. So 2317, and return. You can see I have GNOME disappears from our background. Now PS can also show you all the processes running on your computer. So you type in PS space AUX and you can see all of the processes running. Now this is good, but you know there's a lot of different a lot of stuff happening here. So maybe looking for a specific program and you don't have to have to go through and physically look through all that stuff line by line. This is where grep comes in again. PS AUX and then we can grep that through and they want to look for SSH. As you can see right here, I'm running the SSH daemon. I'm also running um, some other stuff. And you can see grep, on, not on all machines, but on Ubuntu, it'll automatically color your stuff. You see our last one here is actually, it shows back the grep command. So I got grep, I have SSH here. So let's say I want to kill SSH. I've been kill, space, and the first number here is your process ID, and then there's a whole bunch of gobbledygook that you don't really need to know right now. And we got our program that's running, and the user who's running it first. So you can just type in kill in the process ID, so 1264, and return. I don't want to kill it, but yeah, that's how you would do it. Now the last one I'm going to teach you guys is cat. Cat pretty much means it prints, um, prints, like a file or whatever you give it, print it to standard out. So if we do cat slash proc interrupts and it prints it to the screen. You can also cat text files. So if you do cat, I don't know, alien probing dot text and you can see it prints it to standard out. 
Now that's where pipe also com comes in again. So we can do cat, and we want to like, you know, let's say we want to cat proc interrupts. And we want to pipe that through into less. Remember we talked about less last time. Less is just uh, kind of like a viewer. And you can see I have all my stuff right here. And then you can do less, you can do hit slash and search for, for something like in Pata, and you can see it comes up. But you can pipe it through to a lot of different things. So pretty much practice your piping and practice your grepping. Those are very important. And if you want to know more about these commands, type in man and then the command. And you can see it brings up the man page for, for the command and it shows you everything. All the different features, all the different options, it gives you description. And I know these things can be kind of complicated the very first time you look at them. But just bear with it and try to read them and try to understand and just and just practice those are your biggest things is just try to practice these things if you don't practice you're never going to to get good at it and every command we talked about today has a man page so you can type in man less man cat but yeah there's a, a man page for everything these commands that we went over today have a lot of additional features more than what I went over here so check out the man page to learn more about grep or less or PS to really understand how they work and the power behind them. And if you have any questions or comments, leave them below. Click the yellow subscribe button and also uh, visit nickmcd.tv for a full written up instructions on how to do what I just showed you. Thanks.